Good day, everyone. I just wanted to take a moment uh, to speak to everyone about, I'm sure you've heard already, that uh, the Archdiocese is moving towards uh, the process of reopening our churches. And I just want you to know that St. Cletus uh, has received all the guidelines and all the regulations to do that. And we are in the, presently in the process of forming our reopening committee. And with that, uh, we will start the process of planning for our reopening. If you've read any of the guidelines from the Archdiocese, this will take place in a three-phase process. The first phase being basically seeing that we meet all the regulations of how to have people back into the church safely and also to be able to move into the phase where we can offer baptisms, funerals, reconciliation uh, with a limit of only 10 people at any particular uh, service at the beginning. Uh, so we're working on the plans to be able to do that with our, as we form our committee. And then the final phase will be where churches will be able to be ready to open for daily mass and for weekend masses. But again, there are going to be very specific regulations on how we do that. As we formulate all those uh, steps, we will keep you informed as uh, parish members and uh, keep you up to date as soon as we know more details. But do know we have been working very diligently to be able to move this process along as quickly as possible, always keeping in mind that our main concern is the safety and well-being of our fellow parishioners. That has to be number one. We already are reassured that we have God at our back, that he walks with us. We're not doing all this alone, but we must be assured as, as uh, responsible Christians that we care for one another and we safeguard each other. So please be patient as we move forward with this process. It will be a, a very detailed and long process to take place, but we have begun. That's the most important thing. The process has begun. So keep us in your prayers and thoughts. Keep all your fellow parishioners in your prayers and thoughts uh, each day as we continue to struggle through this very unknown situation of how to move forward. Remember, none of us have experienced this type of situation before in our lives. So pray for us, be patient with us, and we will be able to come together, hopefully soon, as a people of God. May God bless you this day and always and keep you well, healthy, and safe. Bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Have a wonderful day, even if you can't go out and enjoy the beautiful weather. Enjoy the gift of the day from God. May God bless you always.